Hey DNA fam, welcome back to another video. Happy Easter. Y'all say happy Easter. Easter. Say happy Easter. <laughs> All right, y'all. Did you, did you say happy Easter? Happy Easter, everybody. Okay. So yes, this is our special Easter video. As you can see, our family has grown. Um, this would be your first time seeing Lauren Ashley or meeting her if um, you haven't seen our labor and delivery vlog. So this is Lauren Ashley and this is her first Easter. Uh-oh. Okay. All right, y'all, so let's just dive into the video. So today, Daryl just had a thought. She wants to go? Okay. So today, Daryl just had a thought, and it was, what are we doing with our time? And it's so relevant to... Right. And it's so relevant to what we're going through um, right now, especially with the pandemic and, um, and just, you know, just all that we're going through right now. So... We're in the house. What are we doing with our time? I think we can all ask ourselves that. Um, are we complaining about being in the house? Are we going out like we're not supposed to? Um, are we... Uh, frequenting, frequenting with the refrigerator. Yes. So are we <laughs> watching the news? Are we um, consuming ourselves with the news? And with all, like, all that's going on? Camera, yeah? Yeah. As you can see, this is a very different video. So anyway, Daryl, um, you want to take it away? Yeah, come here, kid. So she's saying we're doing with our time, and I, you know, I was thinking about that, and I thought about Easter, and I thought about Passover, and when I was looking back in the story, when the Israelites were in slavery and they're about to come out, they took a night to commemorate what was actually happening, how their deliverance was at the door. They were about to leave a place that they had been in for years, and God was delivering them. And so what they did was, as families, they met in the house, and they shut themselves in the house. They painted the blood on the doorpost, and they had a meal, and they prayed and thanked God for what he was about to do. But they also were preparing themselves for when the door was going to be blown wide open for them to leave the place that they had been trapped in. And I started thinking about every year past then, if they were on battle, if they were journeying through the wilderness, if they were in their homes in the future, they took time to come back to the homes as a family mm -hmm. to sit and reflect on what God did and also prepare for the road ahead. I'm like, how appropriate and, you know, coincidental for us that mm -hmm. we're in the middle of a place where we all have to be, in essence, trapped in our homes um, and we've been confined to our homes. And can we take... Sorry, we had a little mishap, of course, um, with Peyton. <laughs> but anyway, can you remember what you were saying? No, I was just saying that was appropriate where we've been trapped or confined to our homes, in a sense. And what are we doing with our time? You know, a lot of times people said, I don't have time for God, or, you know, my life is busy. And so sometimes we forget to read, to pray, don't have time to go to church, things like that. And now we have more quantity of time mm -hmm. than ever. And it's like, what are we doing with it? Are we able to reflect on what God has done or take the time to maybe say, you know what, let me get to know God mm -hmm. for myself. You know, sometimes it's like, why? Well, I heard about him on, in this person's life, I heard about him through this pastor preaching. But now, personally, you can say, you know what, God, since I'm home, let me get to know you. And take some time to reflect on your life and see where you've been and kind of see where he stepped in your story so that you can remember that. I can look back and say, man... This happened, and God saw where you stepped in. At the moment, I didn't know it was God. But looking back, because I had time to reflect, like the Israelites did every Passover, it's like, God, you were there, and you saw me through that situation. And I'm grateful, and I thank you for it. And now let me prepare myself, because whenever this pandemic is over, and when life starts to get back to normal, we should be able to leave our houses with more than what we came locked in with. Mm -hmm. We have a better perspective on life, on our purpose, on our passion, on our relationship with God. And I think we should not waste the time that we have. We should be investing. It doesn't mean you have to go start something, do something, 
but simply taking time to say, God, let me get to know you better. And let me reflect on what my life has been so that my life can be different on the other side. So as we pass over mm -hmm. this situation, pandemic, we are passing over at this season of being locked in the house. We will pass over all of this and we will be on the other side better because of it. Mm -hmm. So that's our question. What are you doing with your time? But something to think about at Easter, you know, if we think about Jesus, we think about what he did. Uh, I was listening to Furtick, one of my favorite preachers right now. And uh, he had said that. Right you know, now. Yeah. <laughs> we talk, he talk, We always talk about what Jesus did, resurrection. He did it. And then he will resurrect us, you know, on the final day. But he said some key just the other day said, but Jesus said in scripture that I am resurrection present. And so let's celebrate that this weekend as well. Not just what he did and what he will do, but who he is and who he is in each of our lives. The things that he can has the power to bring back to life. You know, those things that have been dead or we've forgotten about. He is resurrection and can bring those things back to life if we just take time to spend some time with him and say, come on into my life. Come on, make it new again. Refresh it. Bring it back to life. So don't just celebrate what he did. Don't just celebrate what he's going to do. Make sure you're celebrating who he is this weekend as well. Amen. Oh, that was so good. And this, everything, it just seems, well, I don't believe in coincidences anyway, but it's just so crazy to compare it to everything. What? No coincidence. Huh? Everything you said. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please have a wonderful Easter. Um, please, please, please think about what you're doing with your time. And um, hopefully you're not wasting it. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you can't get to a church because we're just locked in, there's so many groups and people and churches doing so many creative things mm -hmm. from the East Coast to the West Coast, from the yes. North to the South. So all you got to do is plug online and you can find a lot. There's uh, an old colleague of mine. She invited me to watch um, what her church did on Good Friday. They had like three little segments. Friends Church, your Belinda, shout out. It was, uh, it was good. Okay. And then like my sister's church in New Life, Virginia Beach, they were they do like midday prayer every day and they got different content coming out. And then of course everyone's doing something huge for tomorrow right. or today if you're today. watching it. Um, so I mean and then they're always on rebroadcast. So now especially if you didn't go to a church, uh, take some time to check out what's happening from the people of God and see what the story's all about. And again, appreciate the gifts, because I sure do. I'm like, man, there's some creative people out there. Right. And the story is being told in some new ways. And it's just, you know, nice to experience and get a fresh, you Speaking know, Speaking of creative and new ways, um, I put this on our Facebook and our Instagram. But please, 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 today is the last day. Um, today, Easter, is the last day that um, the sight and sound they are streaming Jesus. And if you've never heard of Sight and Sound Theaters, um, they do live action plays. Like they have real animals and like, it's, it's just so amazing. Like if it's supposed to rain, it's gonna rain. If Moses is splitting the sea, it's <laughs> gonna split. Like it's, it's crazy and it's so good. But I'm gonna put in the description box below, I'm gonna put the link that you can go and watch it. And so, um, you're going to want to watch it. Like, it, I'm sure it will be so much better to see it there with everything happening in front of you. But I was told by people who watched it already that it was so good. So, you have to watch that. And that is Jesus. Oh, you tell me, I didn't watch it yet. We didn't watch it yet. So Not yet today. We're going to watch it today. <laughs> so, that's, that's it. it. All right. Well, you can take us out. So, we just want to say we love you. Thanks for tuning in. You know what? Like, comment, subscribe, share. And you know what? Spend some time with your family. Mm -hmm. Let them know that you love them and that they are loved and cared for. Because sometimes we don't always know that. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know that, but we don't always feel that. So let them know mm -hmm. this Easter. And remember, you were called to be a stone seed. seed.